Hey, um, so I wanted to share this story, um, because I, I feel like the players involved deserve it, uh, and I, I just, I generally like kind of like feel-good stories, especially about the gaming community, because sometimes we just get really salty, and we get, you know, really caught up in winning in the game, and it just doesn't, it doesn't turn out well, so... I, I really wanted to share this. So, today was a sneak peek for Primal Origins, the new Yu-Gi-Oh! set. And for those who don't know, um, each set, each when you apply to run one of these, each set is um, 16, like a box is 16 people worth of boosters. Um, each person gets 5, so there's about 80 boosters. Um, and one to two play mats, some promo cards and stuff. And what you do is you pay 20 bucks, you get the five boosters, you get the promo. Um, there's usually raffles. They want they want you to give away the play mats. Um, so there's usually a raffle for them. And we're we're relatively new for the store that's running it over a uh, weekend. And uh, I've been running tournaments long enough. And the last one we had, the first one, the store was able to do. Uh, we had like six or seven people show up. So we had a bunch of extra product. If people came off from work, you know, at 6 p.m., I let them buy product because, you know, I don't want you to feel left out because you, you have a job. You know, that's not really fair to them. Um, and, if I, and I had the product, so, you know, okay, you pay the same as everyone else, you walk away with product. Great, fantastic. Um, about the time close to open, uh, we got a call from someone saying that, you know, a kid named Sam was showing up. And they're coming up from New Hampshire for the sneak peek. I'm like, okay, that's okay. When when are they gonna be here? And they said two. This is around like twelve ten, twelve fifteen. So okay. So we'll write down Sam at the end of this list, and you know, okay. And, and I don't think much of it because I'm not gonna fill up with people. Well, lo and behold, like around twelve fifteen, like we're at fifteen people. We have one spot left. So first off. Pfft, I'm not going to be able to enter. I only enter if at the end of the day we still have product. Then I'll let maybe enter myself. But, you know, customers first. My players come first. As much as I want Angeli. So, 10, uh, 2.15, uh, this guy shows up. You know, it's Sam. Okay. And he said he called earlier. I'm like, okay. And we hash it out, and he did know what we meant by New Hampshire. But, you know, I, I was still unsure... It was about 2.15, I was getting ready to start a tournament, so I was like, okay, well, this is, here's Sam. You know, and I hadn't heard back from the other people who said they were going to be here at 2. Okay. So, you know, took my risk. Well, a little past 2.30, in come these parents with this little 8-year-old. Named Sam. They said they called. And at this point... I am freaking out internally. So, I explain the situation to both of them. And, obviously, Sam is rather upset. Mom's a little teary-eyed. You know, she understood, but, you know. So, I'm racking my brain trying to figure out what to do. Do I give him a, a credit or a discount on something? Do I... Uh, do do I tell them something else? What do I do? You know, what do I do? And, you know, I, I give all credit to this to the players because I made the mistake. And all I did was m come up with the idea to try and correct that. So I came at about neutral. So I call the players up. I said specifically, like, if you enter the pre-release, please come up to the counter. And I got all the players up there. And there's every level of ability, from people who, like, work for ARG, doing their streams, people who come in consistently first place every week, and those who just come in for fun. Even those who didn't even play, like, didn't even enter the sneak peek, they still came up. I said, look, this is... And I, I didn't make too much of production, because I didn't want him to feel pressured by all these people. Like, here's the situation, you know, and I explained it out, you know, very bridged. And I said, look... I know you guys are not going to use all of the commons and all of the normal rares that you pulled. 
we, we, not all of us do. We keep what we want to use, and we keep what we know we can trade. I'm not expecting anyone to give up their secret rares or anything. But I don't want this kiddo over here to come here and leave with a bad experience. So, I'm asking you guys, because you're all good guys. Yeah. I'm, I, I want here at the counter to start a stack of all the commons and the rares you know you will not want to keep for trade or that you will not use. Everything else that you know will kind of fitter off into oblivion for you. I want you to stack them right here. And I want him to walk away with more cards than any one of us would be able to walk away with. All from new set. And to their credit, they didn't even ask any details. They didn't ask for... They didn't inquire about anything. All of them turned right around, went to their bag, went to the table, quickly filtered out all these cards, and some of them already had it filtered out, you know? Because that's how we work. And they all came up and created this stack of cards. And Mom had this just beaming smile on her face. You know, Dad was smiling. You know, Sam was just ecstatic seeing this pa and halfway through like to his credit too he was like you know he walks up and he's like he's looked at he's looked at the stack and people keep dropping stuff off and he looks at me and goes you you can tell them to stop <laughs> like oh my word and I was like and I leaned in I was like one thing you have to learn about people who want to do good things for you is you let them do good things for you because you might feel guilty about accepting it. But they might also feel bad if you don't. Which is true. If if someone really wants to offer a helping hand and they're just pushed aside, you, you kind of feel bad. And I told them, the best thing to do, act, to, to really do, is just to accept the good offerings that are given to you. Because... I did not tell them they had to. I explained the situation. I asked them what I would like them to do out of the kindness of their heart. And they did it. Even those who didn't enter wanted to drop some cards off for this kiddo. And he sat and he played and he enjoyed himself. He had a big smile on his face. Mom, mom had a smile on her face. And that was the highlight of my weekend. Like, like tomorrow's Mother's Day, tomorrow's my brother's birthday, and that's great, but... Being able to do something like that, especially after I I screwed that up, you know, I own that. You know. It's that's great. I love it. And I felt like that need to be shared, that you know you you're you're gonna sit there and you're gonna hate when you face a fire fist. Or you're gonna hate when you you can't draw what you need when you get mana screwed, you know when you know that you, your dice don't roll the right right way and Thor is sitting there and you're staring at Thor and you want him to go and you can't. But outside of the game, it is a community, and sometimes we forget that, and sometimes it takes something like this to kind of remind you of that. So I wanted to share that along. Uh, thanks, and for those who still have a sneak peek ahead of them, I hope all your pulls are jelly.